Hey YouTube, it's your boy Trucker Doc and I'm here with another video for you. Um, before we go ahead, jump into it, I want you guys to like, comment, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, let you know when a new video is coming out. Also, hit the share button, share it to all your social media so we can get our channel circulating. Um, in today's episode, we are going to go ahead Yes, right. You read it from the title. We're going to go ahead and talk about what you need on your mentor's truck. Uh, so tune into that. Again, hit that like, comment, subscribe button. And go ahead and watch this intro. It's going to be a little driving intro. Thought I'd switch something up for y'all. So go ahead and uh, enjoy. <laughs> What's up? It's your boy Trucker Doc. I'm here with another informative video for all you rookies out there that's getting ready to go onto your mentor's truck. Um, this is going to be for y'all. I'm going to let y'all know exactly what y'all need uh, to do to be to have on your mentor's truck. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, the first thing that you should bring when you just first step onto your mentor's truck get a pack of pens um no notebook paper pen so you can take notes you can write down your trips all that stuff that's going to be important is it's, it's basic you know stationary items uh but another thing you want to bring either a sleeping bag you definitely want to bring a sleeping bag so bring a sleeping bag bring a cover and a pillow um i wouldn't bring more than just one pillow one cover and a sleeping bag um, you have to realize you're going to be in a cramped space. Um, these trucks, they do have two bunks, but they're really not made for two people comfortably. Um, it's really made for one person comfortably, but you're putting two people in there. Um, so, and then you're also going onto your mentor's truck. So he might have shit all over his truck and you might have a limited amount of space that you could put your stuff you might get some cool mentors out there that might give you like a shelf or something like that but nine times out of ten you won't i didn't have that but it is what it is um you want to bring your duffel bag uh with your clothes now clothing don't pack your whole closet in your in your bag and bring that on your mentor's truck don't do it one it's gonna piss your mentor off too it's gonna piss you off because you're gonna have to constantly move that stuff anyway so what i would say is bring five pairs of jeans bring i'll say eight pairs of underwear uh boxers whatever underwear uh, bring like 10 pairs of socks uh five pairs of shirts boom there you go um you should make it to somewhere where you can do laundry you know every once a week um so just pack enough for a week uh, basically just pack enough for a week um also you want to bring your your shower stuff you know you want to bring your shower soap towels stuff like that that's pretty much it um i will say that's pretty much it that you would want to bring on your mentor's truck um like i said it's a cramped space to try to fit two people comfortably in here you can't do it um some can but you might have a mentor that's an asshole and won't move any of the shit for you so that's just the game that's that's the way it goes um i'm also gonna touch base we're gonna go ahead and talk about once you go solo what all you need so it's gonna be a two-part video uh so here's the second part what do you need when you go solo when you go solo i would definitely definitely first purchase you make would be a truck gps one of these a truck gps um do not be out and be one of these truck drivers that use their phone to navigate don't do it also most companies they have their qualcomm or whatever they use omnitracks whatever they use um that has a navigation built into it 
don't always trust that. A lot of times it goes off. It'll send you down worlds um, that take you out of your route. What well, a truck GPS is gonna take you down the truck fastest from point A to point B. It's gonna take you the fastest route that's gonna be for trucks. Um, you set your your uh, your configuration up. You know your eighty thousand. I put it at the max eighty thousand pounds, thirteen six, uh, seventy feet, and it's gonna take you down only roads that that vehicle that configuration can go down. It's gonna take you down the fastest route. Um, so that should be your very first purchase is a truck GPS. You can get them at any truck stop. You can get them for. 100 um i paid 500 for mine but they can go up to eight eight nine hundred dollars um i got i got the diesel 780 um it, it helps me with my trip planning that's why i got it um and if you've seen any of my videos about my trip planning you know what i'm talking about um another thing i would buy is a phone mount um i have two of them i have a phone mount right in front right above my Qualcomm. I use that to do my ride along videos for you guys. And then I also have a Qualcomm on my left hand side against the window. Um, I actually, I don't really use that one that much. Um, I used to before I got the one that sits right in front of my dash. Um, yeah, another thing you wanna do, you wanna buy a pack of batteries. If you're coming to Swift Transportation, you are going to get a pre-pass. Um, those pa those batteries don't last forever. They'll last a good six to 12 months. Um, but you wanna get a pack of batteries just so you have it. Good. Um, another purchase that you want to go ahead and get, a trash can. Get you a trash can. I got this one right here, like 10 bucks at uh, Walmart. Uh, you don't want to clutter your truck up. You don't want to have all dirty, dirty shit all over your truck. So get a trash can to kind of keep shit clean. Um, you also want to get, if your truck does not come with a fridge, think about investing in getting a mini fridge. Um, and my last truck, I had one. I paid about $130 for it. A little college dorm mini fridge with a little freezer on the top. Um, that's gonna save you and you're gonna you're gonna save more money getting a fridge and buying groceries from from Walmart or something like that you're gonna make that hundred and thirty dollars back you're gonna make you're gonna save more than hundred and thirty dollars so it's a good investment to have um, you want to get your obviously you want to have your bed sheets everything that you need you know get some hangers hang your clothes up if you want to I fold my clothes up um, that stuff like that so those are the essentials that you need. You also wanna have a good pair of gloves. I have three pair of gloves. I have gloves for just my fuel. I only use it for my fuel. I have gloves, you know, I have a pair of gloves. I have two pair of, a pair of gloves for my fuel. And then I have two pair of gloves for like opening and closing the doors, um, taking off my airlines, you know. Um, and then I also have a pair of gloves to do my pre-trip with like the oil and stuff. So, um, get you some, get you a couple of pair of gloves. Um, you're going to have to keep buying them cause they're not going to last forever. Um, so also get you a tire pressure gauge for your pre-trips to obviously test the pressure of your tires. Um, also get a tire depth gauge as well. Uh, you know, if your depth gets too low, you got to change those tires. That's how a lot of blowouts happen. Um, and rookies coming in, you might not be able, you might not know how to handle a blowout. Um, so I've I've had one blowout. I know how it feels. I know how I, how to handle it now. So, uh, but when it first happened, I, I was scared shitless. <laughs> um, um, I think that's all about it. Oh no, you also want to get a clipboard preferably get a clipboard with where you can open it to store your bills um you know you have to keep your bills swift transportation requires you to keep your bills for 90 days um so you want to have a place to store those um other than that that's pretty much all you need solo uh, people say you get a cb i don't have one yet um one i don't want to listen to all the racist pricks on there 
Um, that's all they talk about is racist shit. Um, I've been in a truck where they had a CB and that's all they talked about was racist shit. That's not what I'm trying to do. I mean, it's good to have, you know, it'll let you know what roads are closed. They'll tell you what roads are closed if you need to go around and stuff like that. Obviously, I don't, I don't think I need one. I'm good. Um, I just prefer to keep all, all that negativity out of my truck. Uh, get you some cleaning supplies as well. Clean, keep your truck clean. You know, you don't want to have a dirty truck. You'll see a lot of truckers out here with dirty dashes. Uh, you can only imagine what's the fuck's inside of their truck. Um, just from their dash. So keep your dash clean. Keep your truck clean. You know, this is rep your truck is represent representation of you. So with that being said, I'm going to finish this video out, video out with another ride along video from my trip a couple days ago. I definitely do want to thank you guys for tuning in. I hope all you rookies pay attention to this. Um, don't overpack for your mentor's truck. Don't clutter your own truck once you go solo. Again, hit the like, comment, subscribe button. Uh, hit the notification bell, let you know when new videos coming out. Also share the video to all your social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all of that. Um, let's get this channel circulating. All right, that's it. Trucker Docs out.